G'day guys, another big update for the 4x4 Australia D-MAX project. We've just finished installing a dual battery system, but it's not what you think. We've got an Invicta 100 amp hour slimline battery mounted on a Piranha battery tray with a 30 amp Piranha battery charger. But it's not in the engine bay. And it's not in the canopy. Where is it? Well, we've done a really smart thing, I think, and work with these companies to develop a really unique solution, which takes up a lot of wasted space. It's all behind the back seat. Let's take a closer look. As you can see, this space would otherwise be completely wasted. But if we fold this seat down, look at that. That is super cool. So it's 100 amp hours of lithium battery from Invicta. We've got this Piranha battery tray, which was custom made. This was the first one, a prototype, which you can now purchase, which is awesome, because it's such a great solution. It just fits perfectly. And what else are you gonna do with this space? So another thing I really like about this battery, is the fact that it's got these recessed terminals, which are protected by that cover. So we're gonna have no problems with shorts or anything getting in the way. When wiring in this system, we've made sure to have it fused at both ends, just for safety, because we don't want anything going wrong. It's a 30 amp DC DC charger from Piranha, which also has a built in solar regulator, so we can plug the solar blanket straight into it. Nice and simple, and a very neat solution. It's also more than enough grunt to charge this 100 amp hour lithium battery from Invicta. Now, wiring up this whole system was pretty simple because I didn't do it. We got the guys at Advanced Installation Service to handle it, and basically, it was as simple as running a cable from the start battery, which was fused, all the way underneath the vehicle, back up through a grommet, and that's connected to the system. From this battery, we're going to power up one sort of power bank in the back, which is going to be mounted on our MSA storage drawers, which is coming up next. And that's going to be able to you know, charge our fridge, camera gear, things like that. We'll probably also set up another solar point in the back so we can plug in the panel directly here or in the back. So it's really simple. In saying simple, this is pretty high tech. You know, 100 amp hour slimline lithium battery, that's going to be more than enough for what we need. And mounted on this beautiful tray, absolute winner. Really wrapped with this Piranha gear and this Invicta 100 amp hour slimline battery. So why do you need a dual battery system? Well, quite simply, if you were to plug accessories into the vehicle's start battery, when you're stopped, there's a chance you could drain that battery to a critical voltage where the vehicle won't be able to start. So by having a secondary battery, you can run all your accessories off that, and with the DC-DC charger from Piranha, that'll cut signal or voltage. So you won't be able to drain your start battery, you can drain your auxiliary battery. Now we know there are plenty of options when it comes to batteries for your vehicle. And I personally wouldn't bother with an AGM or a lead acid second battery these days, because lithium technology has come so far. There's so many advantages, lightweight, the ability to discharge the battery more, etc., etc. So if you're setting up a vehicle from scratch, a new vehicle, I think it'd be kind of mad to not go lithium, which is exactly what we've done. Now, I've got a bit of a dummy here. This is a, not the slimline battery we have in the back, but it's another battery from Invicta. And it's actually, it's a model, it's a dummy, it's not real. But they sent this out to me to show you guys what's inside their batteries. And I think that's a pretty cool thing. I wanna check out the wiring and also what sort of cells they use, if they're prismatic, which is what you want. Also the BMS or battery management system, if it's a quality unit where it's mounted, this is all very important when it comes to lithium batteries. So let's pop it on the ground and have a look. Well, I'm definitely not an engineer or a scientist, but what you can see here is really nice thick cabling, which is going to the battery management system. Now this is mounted nice and high, the bit of space, so it shouldn't get too hot. If the BMS gets hot, the whole battery can shut down. That's not what you want. I'm also seeing really nice connectors Everything looks really neat and good quality. As the Piranha 30 amp battery charger we've installed has a built-in solar regulator, you can plug your solar blanket or panels directly into it, and it'll handle the rest. So you can sit back and relax. This Piranha battery tray has been specifically designed for the current model D-MAX, and specifically to suit this Invicta slimline battery. And I reckon it's the perfect package for our needs. The 30 amp DC DC charger from Piranha is covered by a 24 month warranty and the Invicta Slimline battery is covered by a massive 7 year warranty so you know we're dealing with quality products here. Another really cool point worth mentioning is the Invicta battery has Bluetooth so you can get an app on your phone to see just what your battery is doing in terms of temperature and voltage. If you're looking for a dual battery system just like this for your four wheel drive 
here are some of the costs. The Invicta battery is $1,599. The Piranha battery tray is $290. The Piranha DC-DC is $385. And the labor to have this installed was $550, bringing the total price to $2,824. Now that's money well spent. <laughs>